title, Tunguska Meteor Fist Theory. They say the dawn of June 30th, 1908 began with a silence so heavy it felt like the world was holding its breath. But in the endless wilds of Siberia, nature was preparing to scream. Witnesses across the remote taiga later swore they saw a streak, white, blazing, almost alive, ripping across the early sky. Dogs howled, horses panicked, and then, with no warning, the heavens cracked open. A blinding flash. A shockwave that flattened 80 million trees in the blink of an eye. A boom so powerful it shattered windows 600 miles away. Some said it felt like the sky had fallen. Others said it felt like the earth was trying to escape it. But what actually happened in that isolated corner of Russia? That question, simple, colossal, has haunted scientists for more than a century. Because when the first expeditions finally reached ground zero, they found something strange. There was destruction, yes, scorched trees, splintered trunks, a pattern of devastation radiating like frozen lightning. But there was no crater, no shattered meteorite, no smoking hunk of space rock lodged in the soil, it was as if whatever hit never touched the ground. At first, researchers insisted it must have been a meteor, an iron or stone titan bursting apart in the atmosphere. The midair explosion could explain the blast. The missing fragments could be too small, scattered, swallowed by swamp. A neat answer, a logical one. But others weren't convinced, because the pattern of the damage didn't look like a typical meteor airburst. It looked softer, wider, almost as though the object wasn't dense enough to survive entry. Something icy, something fragile, something like a comet fragment. A thousand theories followed. Some argued the object disintegrated entirely, leaving behind no solid trace. Others pointed to chemical signatures on old trees, whispering that they matched comet dust rather than meteor rock. And still others wondered, if it truly was a comet, a flying mountain of ice and vapor, could that explain the sky glow seen over Europe for nights afterward? The eerie brightness that made people read newspapers at midnight as if under a ghostly sun? Even today, over a century later, the debate hasn't died. Meteor or comet? Rock or ice? A forgotten visitor from the asteroid belt? Or a wanderer from the frozen edges of the solar system? In the silence of the Siberian forest, the answer remains hidden. Buried under moss? mystery, and miles of fallen trees. But the question it leaves behind still echoes. Do we truly understand what drifts above us? Or was Tunguska a reminder that the cosmos can surprise us in ways we're not ready to explain? If you enjoyed this story, please like, share, and subscribe to help the channel grow.